Okay, good morning. It's uh, 10.1 is what we have on right now. Uh, no, 10.2, we just, no, 10.1, we just got downloaded 10.1 last night. I uh, got the notice right when I was putting the phone away to go to sleep. So, uh, usually do this test closer to one o'clock in the afternoon or two o'clock, uh, usually with the set, with the afternoon games on Sunday. So I'm thinking of trying this out it's 8.20 in the morning. It's earlier than I normally do my tests. It's earlier than I'm usually out of the house. But uh, let's try it. Whoop. Okay, let's try it again. Nope, not working there. Uh, well, yesterday... Uh, not yesterday, but a few days ago on 10.0.1, I was able to activate it from, uh, from the driveway. So I was hoping to be able to do that. But... <coughs> I don't know what conditions let it do that, but it did that. So that was kind of kind of cool. I thought I'd be able to recreate it, but that's not happening. So we're going to do our regular test loop here. I'm letting it go and see if it's it's not going the route I normally like to take. Um, so I might have to it's going too fast once again on that dip 25 on here. I'd like it to take a right. So I'm telling it to indicate, but I don't think it's going to do that. So I'm going to have to probably intervene. Auto land change unavailable is what it said on the on, on the message there. So I'm going to force it to do my stop signs onto the highway, and then we'll turn around and do the circle. This is my normal test route one, um, basically my calibration test that I do um, to give it the hardest things I have in the area. Before I just use it for regular stuff, right? So it's kind of the deal here. You know, this thing at an angle. Hopefully, I'm shooting this right. Um, yeah, that's another new Model Three in the neighborhood. It's good. Everybody's getting Model Threes. All right. Turn. And then this is the stop sign to a highway. I was up a little earlier today and seeing everybody's notes. What they were seeing. Let's see. Usually a lot, a lot of fast moving cars here. Alright. There it goes. Still a little hesitant. Um, I don't know, it's a B. It, it did it. I mean, but it's done it before. Uh, it's done it. I think sometimes worse, sometimes better. I'm going to take over here, and we are going to go towards the, uh, there, all right, I've reactivated from off the off-ramp here, so we're now on FSD beta. Those of you guys that are that pressed the button um, yesterday to get evaluated, just some things to expect. Apply right trick. Okay. So we're in a yield. Oh, Sig Red Model X. All right. Sometimes you have to give it a little juice when you think that it's too hesitant, which is what I did there. So that's a hint to anybody that might be doing FSD beta in the future. It's going to do this loop. Um, it did this on 10.0.1, so that's why I figured it was at 10.0, so I figured it should be able to do it again on 10.1. <clears throat> Not always a good assumption, but it's an interesting test, uh, as it is doing these loops. It's kind of my pseudo jug handle for New Jersey kind of thinking. If you can do these loop the loops it should be able to handle the jug handle, but who knows. Now. I've been reporting a phantom forward collision warning and it gets once it gets to this highway heading in. So we'll see. Oh, down sign. Looks like it may have, uh, I don't know if it saw it or not, or if it just got lucky. All right. Your car's coming. It's a model three coming up behind us. We're at the speed limit, which is 45. All right. So this is around here where the forward collision warning signs uh, kept happening. This looks like the first time. There you go, that's an improvement. Uh, 
it sees stopping for traffic control because I think, it's, I think it saw the flashing yellows as flashing reds, so we should report that. Oh, that's the wrong button. Oh, there. All right, that was at 8:25. So let it know about the flashing yellows being flashing reds. Hopefully, it caught that. That was at 8:25 a.m. <clears throat> Now we're on this route. So those of you guys that have been watching my videos uh, will know that I've been doing this route for a while. This is my, like I said, my calibration route. So um, for for new beta testers, um, that's one thing I would suggest is you have to give yourself confidence in what it's doing, how it's doing compared to previous releases. Um, find a route that you normally do and do it over and over again, right? I, I do that, I've been doing that forever. And I've just started dropping roots off my recorded roots because it's finally doing it fine. Um, this one, in my case, there's a lot of simple stuff, but there is a uh, you know there's a roundabout. There's also the challenging three street intersection that I've added on. So since they're all right beside each other. Also, um, I have my hands close, ready to take over because. The last few releases, right at this right turn from 7th Street to Pacific Coast Highway, it did a jerk to the left and then a, then the right turn. So it, it does this slowly. I have to give it a little juice. All right, it did the jerk again, but there, now the right turn. And, okay, we gotta get that. But, well, autopilot snapshot as well. 827. Still not doing that corner right. It, it had a tendency to get on that right lane after making that right um, in 9.x. In 10.0 and 10.01, it did that swerve to the left and then the right turn and it was fine. This time it did the swerve to the right and it had on 10.0.1 and found itself on that ending right lane after making the right turn. So I hit the autopilot snapshot. That's a way of giving feedback to um, to Tesla so that they would flag it, look at it, and like it looks back, I think about a minute, you know, maybe 30 seconds, maybe a minute from the event to capture all the data that's happened on why the why the person doing the driving, um, the, FSD, the FSD beta tester, pressed the button and uh, hopefully they'll catch it there. I also have an email address that I go ahead and write my drive notes on and share it with them, which is a good, um, to remind you that if you want to skip through stuff I tend to put interesting things or what I find interesting things on the drive on the timestamps on the notes so you can use that additionally if uh, if you want to follow through with, 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 as I publish these things uh, just subscribe to the channel um, you can also find me on YouTube uh, on YouTube on uh, Twitter at Dennis underscore P and that's another way to get the stuff but that's pretty much you know the ways uh, we've done that and doing it so early in the morning, I'm not seeing as many tra as much traffic, and uh, you know, um, it's different from my normal tests because I mean, I normally test like I said in the afternoon. There's a lot more cars um, and the like. Now, uh, should be alert to always re be ready to take over because I am responsible for this drive. The car is not, Tesla is not. I, I took full full responsibility for that. Typically in the afternoon, I dial it up to 45 here and speed limit's 40 because most people go about 50. And being that it's the morning and people are more uh, aggressive, a lot faster, uh, I probably should dial it, dial it up again. I forgot to do that earlier. It's just a matter of safety just because everybody seems to be zooming by me. Uh, the traffic circle's coming up. We're going to go three exits in our first test. Uh, and that's what it's doing now. Previous release, it liked to stay do that from the right lane, uh, the outer lane. I personally would prefer to take the left middle lane, so I'm going to force it to do that by changing lanes. You know, if it wants, to, see, it's a split entrance into this traffic circle. Jerking, taking an internal one. We're going to go into this yield waiting. All right, after this van that's when I would go. Alright, this time around I gave it a little nudge to let it know. It merged right into this outer lane. We're going three over so it should have just uh, taken it, but 
Luckily, there aren't that many cars. All right, now it's gonna exit. All right, so it did do the uh, traffic circle. And our destination's on the left over here based on what I put in navigation, so it's gonna put us in the turning lane. And then from here, I'm gonna cancel and set a new destination. Let's see, three over. Maybe do the Dollar Tree. It's gonna want us to go that way, but I'm gonna make a U-turn and uh, do that, and then force it to go through the uh, circle. So you guys can rate my driving at this point. Okay, I am gonna take the. We're going three over, so I'm taking once again the outer. You know what? It wants to take the. It did that change itself, so I am going into here. I feel like there's it's a traffic circle without anybody coming at me, so I'm just letting it do its drive. It stays on the outer lane here. Um, we're gonna go three over, so I would have gone in the inner lane, and it keeps going on the outer lane here. This is where it gets confused because of the lane markings. All right. Yes, continue steering. I got that. I gotta hit this snapshot. Alright, so there was the fail. I think the lane markings confused it. Um, that was not a good uh, test, obviously. Alright, so while we're here, we're on the street that has the, five, the three street intersection. So I'm going to do a three street intersection to roll into. And that gets us to... First one we're going to do is the left turn instead. This is the left turn onto the far left. And then it's got that frontage road and then go in front of the church. Um, the last few times I've reported a problem. It made fine making the left. It had problems with that very early on uh, and that's been improved. But it's getting into that frontage road that it seems to have gotten confused. So I wanna see what it does and be ready to report it if I need to. Hopefully they haven't started their services or we're not around the time that there'll be a lot of people there. They're all, we'll figure out a different destination, but um, that's our test for right now at 8.30 in the morning on a Sunday. And we are waiting for this light to change. So like I said, I'm gonna put timestamps on the notes on um, uh, on where where things are that are interesting you can get to, disengagements, that sort of thing. Um, as well as you know, anything that I find interesting on the drive. So not only do I do drive, I go through the video again and then timestamp it. So that's kind of uh, been my process. And we have a car behind us. slow on the uh, uptake here. All right, so here's the frontage. All right, still doing that frontage problem. Got a pilot snapshot recorded. 834, all right, that was interesting. Okay, let's see. We're in the five street intersection. Let's go right turn to the right. Don't think it's following no right on red signs yet, um, but that's what we have on this test. We're gonna make a, basically go back to the same street we were on, have it make a right turn onto that, uh, onto that street, and there's a, there's a no right on red sign here. All right, we're back on autopilot. Of course, we're gonna get it when it's green, so if it's green, it should make that right turn just fine. It's a far right turn. So here's the sign, no right on red. Oh, it's a red. All right, let's see what it does. I'm ready to, to stop it because what it's done before is stop here and then creep, which we don't want to do. Yep, see, it's about to go. Whoop. All 
right, we gotta go back there. All right, we're off um, autopilot. So I'm gonna stop it here and re-record, start recording once I have reset because you know, give us a little snapshots of some smaller drives rather than one really long one.